Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find x to the power y using recursion. So let us try to understand what do you mean by recursion. Recursion is a function that calls by itself is called recursion. So this particular recursive function will call by itself infinitely till the stopping condition is satisfied. What is stopping condition? How it is used? Everything we are going to learn in this particular program. So let us begin with the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace. I am going to write input output stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace. I am going to write console input output dot h header file. Now let us define the function called expo with the return type float. I am going to write expo is the name of the function float is a return type and i am going to pass two arguments of one is float comma int n and then curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of the body of the uh, function definition so i'm going to check out the condition if a is equal to 0 then it has to return 0, 0.0 and put semicolon so else if n is equal to 0 then it has to return 1.0 so here a is base if base a is 0 then it has to return 0 and n is exponent if the exponent is 0 anything raised to 0 is 1 so that's the reason we have to write 1.0 if this is also not true then we have to check out the next condition else if the n value is greater than 0 that is exponent is greater than 0 then we have to return a into that is base into function call so exponent a comma n minus 1 and put semicolon so here you can see we have got the function call of the same function so repeatedly this is going to call and these conditions will be checked and this and this both of these two are called stopping condition so i'm going to write them in a single line comment as stopping condition and this is also a stopping condition so if we do not have stopping condition in recursive function then the recursive function enters into infinite loop right yes next if this is false then else part has to get executed i'm going to write return if the n value is less than zero so that is if it is negative value then it has to return 1 divided by a into again function call expo a comma n plus 1 and put semicolon here i am going to put curly closing brace for this uh, function definition now i am going to go for writing the main function so here i will write wide main curly open brace and here i am going to declare this function so what was the header of this function we are going to write the same header here i'm going to write float expo and then i'll write float comma int and put semicolon over here right so this is called a function prototype so how exactly we are going to declare all the necessary variables before using them in the program in the same way we have to declare the function before defining it so this creates the interface for the compiler that tells the compiler that this particular function definition is present search for this particular function definition so in a single line comment i'm going to write this is called a function prototype next i'm going to declare the local variables that is float x comma here i'll write int y because i want to perform x to the power y so that's the reason i'm going to take here float x int y now let us write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter the base using cout screen insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the base and the double quotation mark put semicolon and we're going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator and then x value similarly we are going to ask the user to enter the exponent right so here in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the exponent 
and the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the value from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator and variable y next i'm going to go for a function call right so here i'm going to write c out uh, stream insertion operator and x value it has to be printed and then to the power can be written as caret in a double quotation mark it will be printed as it is stream insertion operator y value i want to print then stream insertion operator and i want to print equal to in a double quotation mark and then i'll be having a function call so here expo is a name of the function and i'm going to pass both of these two variables to this particular function and put semicolon and here i'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the base so here i'm going to write enter the base so for example i'm going to enter 2 right next it is going to ask the user to enter the exponent so here i'll write enter the exponent now i'm going to enter for example 3 so this value will be stored in variable y next you can see here we have got c out x to the power y so x is 2 to the power that is carrot symbol will be printed next y value is 3 3 will be printed equal to will be printed as it is and then expo here it is a function call so this is called function call in a single line comment i'm going to write this is a function call so once the compiler encounters with this particular function call immediately control jumps to function definition and it is going to check out if a is equal to 0 no here a is what a is base so base value is what 2 which is not equal to 0 hence this particular statement will not get executed it is going to check out else if n is equal to 0 no because it is 3 3 is not equal to 0 hence it is not going to execute this particular statement else if it is going to check n is greater than 0 n value is 3 which is greater than 0 it is true once this is true then this particular statement will get executed so it is going to uh, multiply a value what is the value of a here it is base 2 right so 2 into so expo a comma n minus 1 so n minus 1 means what here earlier it was 3 now it is 3 minus 1 it will become 2 right so it is going to multiply 2 into 2 right so it is 2 into 2 again control jumps to this function definition why because we have got here function call right so once again it is going to check out the value of a so here base value is what 2 only so it has not changed hence it is not going to return 0 0 right so else if n is equal to 0 no now it is 2 2 is equal to 0 no the control to the next statement so that is else if n is greater than 0 yes 2 is greater than 0 hence once again this particular statement will get executed so that is a into 2 is written expo a comma n minus 1 earlier it was 2 2 minus 1 is what 1 once again control transfers to float expo because here we have called this particular function now if a is equal to 0 so here it is not equal to 0 because it is 2 else if n is equal to 0 no because now it is 2 minus 1 is 1 1 is equal to 0 no directly control jumps to the next condition else if n is greater than 0 yes 1 is greater than 0 it is true once again it is going to return a into expo so expo is returning what value 2 so here it will become a comma n minus 1 earlier it was 1 1 minus 1 is what 0 so again function call transfers the control to this function definition so now it is going to check out a is equal to 0 no condition is false next it is going to check out else if n is equal to 0 yes it is true it is called stopping condition now it is true it is going to return 1.0 so here we have written 2 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 8 so that is 2 to the power so whatever whatever we have written over here so x to the power y x is what x is 2 correct because x is 2 so this caret symbol will be printed as it is next 3 will be printed as it is next you can see here equal to it will be printed as it is next expo x comma y is returning what value it is returning 8 so it is going to print 8 this is called run 1 
next we'll call one more run to so that is we'll call this particular function once again by executing this uh, program once again so once we compile and run this program again it is going to ask the user to enter the base now i'm going to enter base 0 for example next it will ask the user to enter the exponent here i am going to write exponent 2 now x value is 0 y value is 2 so once again we are going to encounter with this particular statement it is going to print x to the power y and here we have got a function called directly control jumps to the function definition now it is going to check out a is what it is a base is equal to 0 yes it is true once this is true then it is going to return 0, 0.0 and it is not going to check out all of these conditions because the first condition itself is true hence it is going to return 0 so what it is going to print here we have x to the power y x is what 0 to the power y is what 2 is equal to will be printed as it is and this expo x comma y is returning 0 next let us run this program one more time let us call this one as run 3 now i'm going to enter the base for example 2 next i'm going to enter uh, sorry uh, here i'm going to write enter the exponent so here i'm going to write 0 for example right so x value is 2 y value is 0 so anything raised to 0 must give me 1 right so whether it is uh, going to give us 1 or not we are going to check out right so here x value is 2 and y value is 0 so here we have got a function call again control transfers to this function definition and it is going to check out a value is what 2 which is not equal to 0 hence this particular statement will not get executed control transfers to else if now it is going to check out n is equal to 0 here you can see the exponent is 0 hence it is true if this is true then it is going to return 1.0 correct so it is going to return 1.0 so what it is going to print here it is going to print x to the power y x to the power y is equal to and exponent is returning what 1.0 so it is going to return 1.0 now let us run this program one more time that is called run number 4 so it will ask the user to enter the base yes now i'm going to enter base as 2 next it will ask the user to enter the exponent enter the exponent here y value i'm going to write minus 3 for example right yes so x to the power y will be printed as it is and here just because of this function call once again control directly jumps to this function definition it is going to check out base value whether a is equal to 0 no here it is 2 so which is not true hence this particular statement will not get executed it is going to check out else if n is equal to 0 here n is minus 3 which is not equal to 0 hence this is also false next it is going to check out else if n is greater than 0 it is minus 3 which is not greater than 0 hence this is also false if this condition is false then else part will get executed it is going to return 1 divided by a into expo a comma n plus 1 so here how exactly it works we'll check out now you can see 1 so we can write 2 to the power minus 3 so 2 to the power minus 3 can also be written as uh, 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 so that's the reason we have taken here 1 divided by a into expo right so this is equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 2 has to be multiplied thrice so it is going to give us 8 so 1 divided by 8 gives us the fractional part so 1 cannot be divided by 8 so we will take 0 here and we will take 0 point so 8 ones are 8 uh, 8 ones are okay 8 and we will remain with 2 correct so we will take 20, 0 here so 8 how much are 20 or less than that 8 2 the 16 so 4 remains so 8 how much the 40 or less than that 8 5 za. so it will become 0 0.125 so it has to give me 2 to the power minus 3 is equal to 0 0.125 right yes so how exactly it works we'll check out now 
this has to be executed this particular statement has to be returned so 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 into expo a comma n plus 1 so earlier it was minus 3 minus 3 plus 1 so that gives us what 1 minus 3 is what minus 2 correct so again function call transfers to the function definition correct so again it is going to check out a is equal to it is 2 which is not equal to 0 next n value is what n value is minus 2 now this is n minus 2 which is not equal to 0 hence it is not going to execute this particular statement it is going to check out else if n is greater than 0 no condition fails and this particular statement will be executed once again so 1 divided by a into expo so it will become now now once again we are going to write here 2 right so by incrementing the value of n by 1 earlier n was minus 2 now n is equal to minus 2 this plus 1 so 1 minus 2 gives us gives me what minus 1 so once again control transfers to this expo correct and it is going to check out a is equal to 0 no condition is false else if n is equal to 0 no because it is minus 1 which is not equal to 0 so again it is going to check out else if n is greater than 0 no minus 1 is not greater than 0 so it is not going to execute this statement it is going to return else part so 1 divided by a into expo so once again it is going to multiply this one with value 2 so 1 divided by 8 so this gives us what 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 that is here we'll write 2 to the power 3 so 1 divided by 8 that gives us 0 0.125 now let us execute this program for that i'll take you to my laptop screen here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. And now I am going to press enter. Let us execute this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the base. For example, I am going to enter base 2 and now it is asking the user to enter the exponent. Now I am going to enter 3 and press enter. Here you can see 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Now let us execute this program one more time and now I am going to enter the base 0 and exponent 2 and I will press enter. Here you can see 0 to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now one more time we are going to execute this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Now it is asking the user to enter the base. Now I am going to enter 2 and exponent I am going to enter 0 and press enter. Here you can see 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Anything raised to 0 is 1 only. Now one more time we are going to execute this program and this time I am going to enter the base 2 and exponent minus 3 and I will press enter. Here you can see 2 to the power minus 3 is equal to 0 0.125. I hope you understood this program. If so please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.